In this video, we're going to be using the Shave Mercantile Mochaccino and the Carp with the brand new Open Comb G Plate. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, Use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back. Welcome in, folks. Welcome in. Today, for the first time ever, we're using a shave mercantile soap. And this one is Mochaccino. And don't blame me for the spelling. I know that's unconventional, but we know what it is. This, by the way, comes to you for $14.99 for four ounces and on our cost chart there. That is a good price of $3.74 an ounce. On cost, I would give it four out of five. Definitely a good price. The scent on this is definitely a dark coffee. I'm gonna put the scent description for you on the screen right there. Some of the notes, dark, dark coffee, chocolate, sugar, vanilla. I don't get a lot of the sugar and vanilla. I mostly get the dark coffee and a little bit of that chocolate. Actually, my wife liked it a lot. She came in here, she's like, oh, that smells good. For me though, I like it, don't love it. Um, I give I give it a quality score in terms of scent of about three out of five. I'd like it to be just a little bit sweeter, but it is pleasant. And so it's one of those soaps that I'm definitely gonna enjoy uh, giving a shot. Uh, we made a really nice lather with it. I'll show you the lather right there. It does start out a little bit fluffy and you have to add water slowly. So I'd give it a score of 3.5 out of five in ease of use because it's one of those where it'll fluff up on you if you're not careful, add water slowly and you'll get a nice lather like we showed you there. The ingredients, this is a vegetal base. I'll show you the ingredients on the screen right there. Pretty simple formula, so uh, it should work well. I don't expect to have any problems with it today. All right, the razor for today is the Carve, as Justin the Red Island Shaver would say, Christopher Bradley. But today we are using the G plate in open comb. And this is probably the first time anybody's seen this, uh, unless you saw Chris from Carve with it, because he said he sent me this uh, G plate and he said this was the second one off his machine. So we're gonna try this today. This is their most efficient offering in open comb. And again, this is brand new, hasn't even been released yet. So I look forward to giving this a go today. The blade in there is a Gillette Nasset on second use. And this Christopher Bradley razor is just fantastic. The handle, by the way, was the Gladius handle that they made, um, actually they made for West Coast shaving and Marion gave me that handle. So we look forward to using this today, the G plate first run with it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's see how it goes. Let's go ahead and miss the face and then we will see what happens today with our shaved mercantile soap. So I don't know if I gave it a score on ease of use. I'd say 3.5 out of five on ease of use because you do have to add water slowly. It's not gonna burst into a creamy lather right away, but volume will come pretty easy. What I'm trying to do is sort of give these scores as I go because honestly, it's a lot of work to do the structured reviews and I don't like doing structured content. I just like talking to you and <laughs> shaving. So what I'm gonna try to do is give the scores as I go, as, a, as opposed to doing the rapid reviews, so you can actually see me use it. Now, I know some people prefer the short format, and I'll do some of those, but I don't wanna do them every day, because quite frankly, they're just not that much fun to do. I enjoy shaving, I enjoy talking to you while I'm shaving, I don't really enjoy, enjoy doing structured content. So I'm not gonna do a rapid review every day, although I know some people like it. But the primary thing for me is it's gotta be fun, and structured content's not that fun. But shaving like this and just using these products and trying them and, and talking to you is a lot of fun. So for me, the point of doing these videos is always number one for me to have fun. It's not about the maximum amount of views and such. I appreciate all that, don't get me wrong. And if you're not subscribed, I hope you will. But I wanna be enjoying my shaves and evangelizing for the hobby. Those are really my primary drivers. And while I know that doing the short format stuff probably has a better return in terms of views. I want to have fun. You know, I'm here to have fun and I hope you're having fun too. All right, let's set that aside. Oh, I forgot to mention the brush today is the AP Shave Co. See if we can get the logo up right. There we go. AP Shave, Shave, Co., uh, Shave Co., not Shave Crow. It's not a crow yet anyway. I think that's a penguin on the bottom. <laughs> I'm confused already. What are you going to do? I'm old. All right, let's get into it today with the G. First time with the G plate. First time with the 
Shave Mercantile Soap. I don't expect any problems. That's very efficient, as you might expect. It is their maximum uh, offering in terms of efficiency and open comb. Again, this plate has not been released yet. Um, Chris at Carve knows that I favor blade feel and efficiency in razors, and I'm assuming uh, that he sent this to me when I made the order for the Overlander because he knows I like you know a lot of efficiency and uh, so this will be a good test because I am someone who really enjoys this sort of thing and so far it feels nice and smooth I think even when carve makes plates that are efficient to me they don't feel menacing um, it just feels nice and smooth to me I'm not getting any roughness whatsoever it's a nice smooth ride and I think that's really a trademark of carve razors generally he shoots for now. I'm speaking for Chris, and I've never I've never talked to Chris um, apart from over text. When I, I say he shoots for smooth, and what I should say is, I believe he shoots for smooth because every razor I've tried from Carve has been smooth, even the most efficient plates they offer. So he wants to give you, and again, I'm putting words in his mouth. But I'm assuming he wants to give you a really smooth ride, regardless of which plate you're choosing. And this one is cutting very efficiently. I like it. You might be able to tell a little bit if you look at the razor. See the plate? See how it's a little bit a different color because it hasn't patinaed like the rest of the razor? So you can tell it's new just by looking at the coloring there. And okay, let's talk about the soap. Um, soap scent, really nice, like I said before. Um, it's, it's, it's quite pleasant. I wish it was a little sweeter, but in terms of slickness here, no problem. But honestly, folks, just about any reputable soap that lathers well, and you can see that there's uh, a good sheen on that leather and good hydration, it's going to be slick. So I don't find that most soaps on the market have any sort of uh, quality problem. I don't find really that almost any soap on the market has a quality problem in terms of slickness or what you need to execute a shave. If it's reputable, it's going to be good. And so... Most of the soaps that you try are going to be at least in that, if I were to give them a score, you know, 3.5 to 4, they're going to give you all everything you need um, for a shave. And I think today, this will be no exception. I'm not detecting any quality problems. Now, again, we don't get into post-shave when we're evaluating soaps because post-shave to me is, you know, after the shave. And that that's something I leave for post-shave products specifically. Uh, different people have different feelings on that. That's entirely okay, but so far, I'm not having any quality issues at all with this soap. And as you can see there, good lather, you know, no problems. So not bad at all so far in terms of quality with this soap. And I think sometimes what happens, people look at the ingredients of the soap and they'll make judgments about it before even using it. So I recommend just use the soap, lather it and see if it's slick. It should be. If you lather it properly, it should be slick. It's mostly on you people. Now granted, you need a decent soap for it to be slick, but there aren't very many soaps around that are selling that aren't very good. Uh, so if you're not finding your soap to be slick, work on that lathering. Because if it's a reputable soap that you see people using, chances are it's going to be um, more than adequate for the purpose of shaving. Because a lot of times we make more of you know, what is necessary than need be. You just need some slickness and you need that razor to glide efficiently and uh, even with a plate like this G which is quite efficient it's gliding really smoothly with no problem whatsoever so the shade mercantile soap here has what I would call a simple formula like there's not a, a half a dozen of butters in here it doesn't have the chupacabra oil the dragon tallow and all that, <laughs> that stuff but it's still plenty slick enough and that's because we've lathered it in a way that allows it to be slick. So no quality problems here. Very nice so far. Now, some soaps, I think you can tell a difference in the weight and density of the lather. And those are the type of soaps that I would give it like a five. Because, you know, it's just, for me, it's more of a luxurious experience. But it doesn't mean it's necessarily a better shave. Just because the lather is weighty and it feels better, that doesn't mean you get a better result. It is uh, perhaps a little more luxurious experience. Doesn't mean you get a better result. So on this soap, just based on this first couple of passes, I'd say it's probably four out of five in quality because it gives me every bit of slickness that I need. No problems with that. Glide is fine. 
If you care about cushion, you can get that if you lather it properly as well, so no problems with that. Again, I would reserve a five for soaps that just have that super weighty, luxurious, you know, like as soon as you start lathering it, it just bursts, bursts into a creamy lather. That's what I probably would, those are the soaps I would give a five, and that's just basically based on the experience, not the performance per se. Just gives you sort of another level of luxury. So that those are the ones we give a five. But honestly, a soap like this with a relatively for, uh, simple formula, not having any problems whatsoever in terms of the shave. So, so far it's been a pretty good um, experience here. And we'll run the scores down for you so I don't have to do a rapid review. The cost was four out of five, scent strength, uh, was four out of five. I think, I, I don't even know if I mentioned that, but this is right in that solidly medium level. You won't have any problems picking up. So that's four out of five. Uh, scent quality, three out of five. It's pleasant, but it's not, I wish it was, was sweeter, like for me, but it's it's still quite pleasant. Uh, ease of use, 3.5 out of five. You got to work it a little bit to, to get it creamy, but it will come. Uh, overall quality, I'd give a 4.5. And uh, so that's where we are on scores for this particular soap. Nothing wrong with it at all, comes at a good price, you know, and uh, it's one of those that it has by today's standard, I would call a simple, a more, you know, basic formula, but does that mean we're not getting a great shave? It does not. <laughs> because when it comes to the actual shave, pretty much regardless of what I use, I'm gonna get in a great shave every single time. You see it here every day, you know, demonstrated over and over and over, mostly, the way your shave comes out is how you shave technique, folks. I've been harping on that for the last couple years, and it remains something that is paramount. Your technique, your knowledge, knowing what your skin will and will not tolerate is paramount. And so before we get into even this third pass, I would give this soap, um, I think the total score would come to 18.5 out of 25, which is decent. Uh, it's definitely given me everything I need. I wish the scent was a little sweeter though. I'm wanting some sweetness out of this. So this soap kind of reminds me a little bit of Barrister Man Amazo Nut in that it's not, it's lacking some sweetness for me. I would love to get more of that sugar and vanilla, but I don't, I get mostly the sort of dark coffee, uh, but it is pleasant. And like I said, my wife really liked it. So there's that. I don't know why I'm going uh, up against the grain and again when I should be going this way, but we'll have no problems. Again, there's plenty of residual slickness here, so I can go right over that area with no problem. Now, if you're new, I caution you, don't do that. <laughs> I know that my lather is on point and I can get away with it, but when you're new, if you don't have enough hydration in there and you're not creating the type of lather that will lend itself to some good residual slickness, you could, you could run into problems. So just be careful if you're new, but don't worry, you'll get there you'll get there. I'm not talking down to you if you're new, because you will get there, trust me. You'll know at a certain point in time, it'll just click and you're like, okay, I know I can get away with a few more strokes there. But I always caution new people, just try to shave over the lathered areas at first until you develop some experience with both the blades, your razor and the soap, and you'll know when it's time when you can do a little extra. Um, but stay away from it early on. And especially if you're using a brand new razor like this, you know, you have to be careful with it. Um, I've used enough razors where, you know, honestly, I just come in here and I just use them. I'm not really, um, especially if you use open blades, straight razors, shavettes, most DEs just aren't going to be that threatening, um, or at least they aren't for me. You may not agree with that assessment, but that's my feeling. And I gotta say, the G plate, I love it. <laughs> so in this razor, the G plate will be what stays because I do prefer more efficiency. The G is fantastic, I love it. So uh, before before they sent this plate, it was F was max, now it's G. And uh, the first run with it was phenomenal. Really nice and smooth, but also efficient, just perfection. Carve Christopher Bradley is just amazing and the cost on it. We'll talk a little bit uh, about that in the post. Let me rinse and we'll come back and get into that. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse to get rid of the soap. And then we used our PAA alum. There was no stinging after applying the alum. So super smooth shave. No necks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice shave indeed. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. I had an excellent shave today. 
with the Shave Mercantile Mochaccino. Quite a decent soap. If you like dark coffee scents, you very well may enjoy this. I really enjoyed using it today. I also had an awesome shave today with the Carve Christopher Bradley razor, and this is the brand new G plate that has not been uh, released as of the date of this recording. They sent me this plate to try out and I loved it. If you like efficiency, uh, this is going to be awesome if you like open combs as well. I really, really enjoyed it previously. The F was my favorite. Now it will be the G because I just absolutely love that. And the blade in there was Gillette Nasset on its second use. Nice smooth ride with the Carve. Carve is an excellent value. This razor runs uh, around 80 bucks uh, US and the plates are $23. It is an exceptional value in my opinion and I always enjoy using it. We use our AP Shave Co. Ebonite Series Brush, and it's in our Lancaster Razor Works Brush Soaking Mug, uh, our HCNC Bowl, and we're going to finish it out today with just good old-fashioned Spike. And this one is active. It doesn't smell anything like Mochaccino, but I just wanted to use Spike today. So I hope wherever you are, you have a wonderful shave today. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, I really appreciate it. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.